the Travel Lodge Stay Maiden is next in. And this is one of quite a few long distance races this week. And it's a four and a quarter mile, four mile, two furlongs. Maiden for five year olds. It was an opponent's advantage. Is at the top four Darren Thompson, Raging Storm, Craig Beckwith, Arakova Days for James Shea, Blue Penny, Martin Lidham, Corgi, Faithful, Paul Rhodes, Napa Pijiri Raid for David Robertson, Ninth Edition for Craig Allen, Ringer Room Page, Alex Jerry, Sherry John Morgan, and Take the Long Road, Joshua Sutherland. So just ten then. And away they go. Because it's a maiden, you really have one entry, so that might be keeping the field down a little bit. And we've got our Scottish friend for company for the moment until I can find a mute button as we make our way towards the first of these. And it's come all you faithful and sherry. Oh, disputing the early lead. Well, ninth edition back in third. And some of these are obviously gonna be Grand National hopefuls getting one of their registered runs in. It's two we've got to have, but uh, quite well. As they get to the first of the 26, uh, they're all safely over it. I think if you had them last season, then they can't again anyway. I've certainly got Blue Penny and she ran over four miles quite a few times last year. Anyway, over that one they go. Obviously, without success, or she wouldn't be in this. And it's Sherry in the lead, then at this ditch. And there's a fall of their opponent's advantage is gone, so Darren Thompson's charge is. No longer in the race as they get to number four. And the rest of them are safely over that one. Then with Sherry on the inside of Cornwall, you faithful. And they've opened up by six lengths to ninth edition in third. And take the long road in fourth. Then Arakoga Days and Ring Aruma Page with Blue Penny on the outside. And then the back two Napa Pidgery Raid or Napa Pajiri Raid, who's the only grey in the field. And Raging Storm, who's the back marker. So, awful long way to go yet. And that fence five. All safely over that one. With John Morgan hoping for a quick fire double. After his winning the last. With Kamoyi Faithful second. Over the next one they go. So if you know that one, although Raging Storm was right down on his nose at the back. For Craig Beckwith, I believe, but it's Sherry in front from Corgi Faithful second. Then Arakoba Days third, Blue Penny fourth. Take the long road five, then ninth edition, and Napa Pajiri Raid, and then Ringaruma Page, and finally Raging Storm. So the order staying pretty much the same. Quite well strung out these leading pair of opened up a good six length gap on the third. And most of the field happy to just bowl along at the moment. There's still just over three miles to go. And Sherry gets over that one in front. Ah, ninth edition's gone there, so ninth edition's on the ship the pilot. Well, on the inside of Ringaruma Page, so uh, it's another four for Craig Allen. That's two in two races today that I've seen while I've been commentating. So something of a surprise there. Uh, some of the big guns are having a few issues with a jump in this season. Uh, John Morgan is no stranger to that, and he's got the leader Sherry at the moment. Cornwall Faithful is second. Big gap men to take the long road to take this ditch, which they all got over safely this time. Eight of the original ten left. A slow jump there by Blue Penny. Calling Faithful has moved up on the outside of Sherry now. So just about shade the lead. Got only five now to Arakova Days. Blue Penny and take the long road to go with Napa Pajiri Ray just tucked in behind them. And a gap to Raging Storm and finally Ringaruma Page. And the next. Oh, they all attacked that fence and jumped it really well. Good low fast jumps over that one. It looks like more of the same over that one as well. They all got over it nicely, including a loose horse ninth edition at the back. 
a little bit late for that now though. As they get over there next and then also play with that one as well in the field. He's now beginning to merge into one Sherry though. Lee, oh, she went right through the top of that one Sherry and that's not what I've done her. Chance is a lot of good. Only a length up now on Kumul Youth Faithful, who's now only three lengths up on Arakoa Days and take the long road. Nap of a Jimmy Raid on the inside of Blue Penny, then a gap of three to the back two. Rear room at Page and Raging Storm. And they caught that last mile pretty quickly. They're now down to the two mile point. And the Sherry has regained the lead. And he's bolted along comfortably again in front. Over that next play one, over well, that one safely as well. Good jump by Blue Penny, who's now into fourth. But he's still Sherry in the lead. Call you faithful. Over oh, that one safely as well. Yes, the old throng waving them on. Sherry will pass the winning post then with a circuit to go. A clear leader by three lengths to Corny Faithful in second. Arak over Days is third, Blue Penny is fourth, Napa Virginia Red is fifth on the inside. Then take the long road has just dropped back a little bit. Raging Storm is next. And the back marker is just with a rumor page. There. As close as they've been now as a group this one of runners is probably only 12 or 15 lengths first to last. And over that next one, Sherry stood off it but jumped it nicely. They all jumped it well. All got away from it well. Sherry in front. Call me faithful second. Eric over days getting closer in third. Blue Penny travelling nicely in fourth. Then the grey now for Jimmy Red. We'll take it to the next. Again, all over it nicely with the back marker ringer room of pain just starting to get a little bit detached. As maybe the pace quickens a little over that ditch. Over that one as well. Sherry in front. My bad three. All safely over that one as well. We call you faithful second, who's two lengths up on Arak over days, and then Blue Penny, and up of a Jimmy Raid on the inside of Take the Long Road, and then Raging Storm, who's tucked in nicely, and a gap of five or six lengths and a back marker, Ring a Rumor Page, who doesn't look like he's going to be troubling the judges at this point. Sherry. Oh, made a mistake there. Sherry really had to reach for that one and got away with it. And Arakoba Days has now suddenly gone on as Blue Penny goes into second. And over that one, Arakoba Days landed in the lead. Blue Penny upside on the outside is second. Gap back to uh, Napa Pajimi Road has now moved into third. There's a fall of there. Arakoba Days has gone, went in the lead. And that's left Blue Penny in front. So Blue Penny's in front then. As Napa Pajimi Road now comes through to challenge in second. Then comes Sherry in third. Take the long road. He's now starting to move on in fourth. Then come all ye faithful who looks to have run its race ring a room a day pages out of contention but it's blue penny in the lead then by about four lengths to the grain napa for jimmy raid in second sherry is third then comes take the long road in fourth raging storms after that one then comes come all you faithful and ring a rumor page as they're racing down towards the final two fences now then blue penny is four or five lengths clear she stood off it went through but got away with it napa for jimmy raid likewise in second then comes take the low road then comes sherry after that one they've got one more fence to take and it's blue penny in front blue penny comes up towards this final fence with a lead of about three and a half lengths she stays all day but she takes all day to do it and it's blue penny in the lead from napa pajiri raid in second then comes take the long road in third up the final fence blue penny's over in the lead napa pajiri raid was slow then comes take the long road and sherry they're racing inside the final third only blue penny's in the lead blue penny from napa pajiri raid in second it's blue penny racing up towards the line and is this going to be a live contender for the grand national in the red room colors it's blue penny racing up towards the line to take it blue penny takes it napa pajiri raid in second take the Long Red Third, then Sherry and Raging Storm and Ring a Rumor Page got past. 
Formerly Faithful and Blue Penny in her second season. Didn't trouble the judge last year, but wasn't disgraced. Got round in the national as well. Maybe one year older, one year stronger. Could we see those famous red rum colours in the Grand National past the post in first place? Dare we dream such things? Probably not. Blue Penny the winner for Martin Leadham. Napa Pajiri Raid for David Robertson was second. Take the long road, Joshua was the third. Sherry for John Morgan was fourth. And Raging Storm for Craig Beckwith was fifth. <laughs>